on the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. It was a tall task at hand for Illinois Volleyball this afternoon in the NCAA Tournament. Not only were they squaring off against the reigning champion Kentucky Wildcats, they were playing them in their home arena. Let's go to Lexington, where a spot in the round of 16 was on the line. Neck and neck battle early on, but the Wildcats, Bella Bell puts down the kill for the Wildcats. That'll tie it at 10 apiece in the very first set. Line I start to pull away as Kennedy Collins rejects the overpass at the net to give them back the momentum. Two blocks and 10 kills for her today. And then Raina Terry puts it away for the set point. They lead the match 1-0 at that point. 5-0 run in the second puts Kentucky ahead, and they kept the momentum. Going their way was Allie Stumler. Smashed this one cross court. She led the Wildcats with 13 kills. Then Swanson denies Maddie Skinner at the net to hold them off. But the Wildcats do end up taking set two to tie the match. Illinois takes control. Eight-point lead to start the third set. Two aces from Taylor Cooper puts them ahead by 12. Then Diana Brown dishes out this assist to Jess. Jessica Nunji, who puts down back-to-back uh, -back kills to give them a 15-point win in set number three. Just needed one more set win. Kentucky fighting to keep their season alive in the fourth. Skinner paints the line here to make it 14-10. to Illinois. Megan Cooney, though, able to respond really quickly here. Another big slam kept the Illini ahead, and they that'll force a timeout. The super senior had 17 kills today. One point away from ending Kentucky's season, and Swanson with the game-winning kill off the assist from Brown in Illinois is moving on to the Sweet 16. They pull off the upset, defeating the reigning champs, Kentucky. Raina Terry had 27 kills. That led the way for the Illini. She played a huge role in that one. It's the first time the Illini have been here since the Final Four run in 2018. For more on the big win, WCIA 3's Marley Weirda is in Lexington. Playing under a 2020 national championship banner, the Illini were reminded what they were up against in Lexington. But even with the odds stacked against them, Illinois upset number seven Kentucky on their home floor to advance to the Sweet 16 while handing the Wildcats their first loss since November. For us, it's, it's almost a comfort thing where it's like, all right, you want to cheer against us? That's, that kind of feeds us a little bit. And uh, we got a whole bunch of competitors. I know that, and that showed tonight. Illinois' seven hitting errors in the second set opened the door for the Wildcats to take advantage and tie up the match. But a strong performance from the service line, along with three aces, allowed Illinois to dominate the third set, and they never looked back from there. Just to have that comfort level behind the line, um, we have some of the toughest servers in the nation, so we have, um, when we get the serve, it's kind of like we all know, all right, let's lock in. Raina Terry led the offense once again. The sophomore now has 45 kills through two postseason games and is attacking with a .31 clip. Talked a lot about just a sense of urgency, not letting up, keeping our foot on the gas. We take as long as we can to celebrate, but obviously when we get back in Champaign, it's back to business. After not making the 32-team tournament last season, Illinois is still looking to prove it can be one of the best programs in the country. This is now the sixth time in the last 10 years Illinois will play in the Sweet 16. Reporting in Lexington for your Illini Nation, Marley Weirda, WCIA 3 Sports. Thanks, Marley. Illinois will go on to play a familiar opponent. They'll head to Austin to play Nebraska. They beat Florida State today in straight sets. They've lost to them twice this season. Both of those games, the Illini lost in straight sets. That match will be on this upcoming Thursday.